this panel is about to makers, whether or not makers are actually a binary to craftspeople. Is there a difference? What is the difference between those two things? We have an expert panel with James, Richard, and Emma. I want to point at James first to kick off because your right. laptop was already plugged in and we know it works, so that's always good. Um, okay. If we could stick around here for the presenting this time. So there. move this round this way? Yeah. Right. That would be grand. Then we don't have to move around so much. Hello. Hello. Um, so uh, I'm going to keep this pretty short because um, I'm more interested in the conversation, I guess, than hearing my voice. Sell through folks every year. It's not a vast amount, but it's a significant amount. 
Um, and we're trying to curate the individual stories that people have to tell. So our success depends on the stories of those makers. Um, and we've been trying to get them to help them to tell their story more effectively for 10 years. And it's really, really hard. So um, we're kind of a summation of, of their success and otherwise. Uh, some of them do it pretty well. So um, we find some things which we think are good. Um, and we use this as a way to promote, um, to promote them. Uh, and if these people like this stuff, they'll also come in and buy other stuff. So we use the people who are better storytellers as a means to funnel in an audience who then they, they may well buy this stuff on your bed. Um, but what we've discovered is that the, the people who are able to tell good stories um, are a small, very small percentage of the overall uh, audience base for the platform. Um, and I'm not necessarily sure why that is, but we have a bunch of uh, people, like this one's uh, Little Black Heart, it's a Little Black Heart folks here, she's a fantastic, fantastic crafter, incredibly good uh, at social media, incredibly, incredibly good at telling a story, uh, at framing her craft effectively, um, and, and we found that most sellers don't recognise the importance of this and don't spend time doing that effectively. So it starts with just taking good photos. They don't recognise the, the fact that you need professional quality photos. You need uh, to have um, a story which tells the, the importance of your craft, why, why you're distinctive, why you're different to other crafters. You're not selling a commodity, you're selling something with, uh, with love. And uh, at its at its, at its heart, and this this for me comes back to um, I guess an assumption that makers have, which is they're competing with some of the makers that you just focus on. They're competing if they're selling um, Kindle covers or cards or blankets or, or cushion covers or whatever. But they're competing with the high street, um, and. That doesn't work at the scale that makers make their stuff. Make 10 things a week, 20 things a week, and 50 things a week. That kind of scale doesn't work if you're trying to base your competitive, if you're, if you're, if you're competing for price with the high street. Um, and it's a good example of a, a story from, we did a, a summer school five years ago in Sheffield in the woods, which was amazing. Um, and we got um, loads of uh, business people to come and help uh, makers uh, figure out how they could sell them and be more effective. And there's a really good story about uh, someone who was making memory blankets. Um, and she was selling these memory blankets for about 230 quid. And they would take around about two weeks to make. And she was basing on her uh, kind of price on like, the fact that we can get the equivalent kind of thing for around about 150 quid uh, made and done in a, a you know, kind of high street store. Um, or online, uh, and the they weren't as good. Her, her, the quality of what she was doing was, was fantastic. But her kind of thing was well. The materials are so much. The high streets um, charging so much. My margin is what is in between that, which was you know effectively like eighty quid um, for two and a half, two weeks work. And she was skint. She was you know she was she was in poverty. Um, and she brought some of, her, some of the work that she'd made to this summer school. Uh, and one of the Dragon's Den uh, people came and there at the time, and he kind of said, so I said, you're not competing with the high school. In fact, your memory blanket isn't competing with other memory blankets, or other blankets are the same kind of thing. So your, your market is very niche, and you're competing um, against things that people spend 1,500 quid on um, that show their love for their child. Um, they said, you haven't got a business unless you're making the surplus. Focus on like, what is it about your thing that is niche, that is, that is uh, unique, and start to, start to work back from that. Um, and this, this lady was in tears at the end. Uh, she, it took her a while to persuade that she could charge, or should try charging 1,200 quid instead of 200. Um, but it was a really kind of formative kind of uh, Conversation in the moment 
for the whole room, for the 200 and odd uh, crafters that were there. Because it forced them to reassess this kind of basic assumption was that you know, you're not competing with, um, with, com with a commodity market, which probably seems really obvious for everyone in this room. But for the thousands and thousands of people who are hobbyists uh, who were selling online, that was a real revelation. Um, and still some kind of find really hard to, to communicate to people. Um, so this look, this kind of individual versus collective thing for me is like, we, I think it's a, probably a bit of a false position uh, in many ways, in that um, our, the success of the collective is always tied up in, in the individual and how they work with others and how they come together. Um, and my feeling is though that the, it's really hard to get that, the individual to tell all in which tell a compelling story. It doesn't matter how many platforms make that easy to do. You can have Instagram and blah, 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 and all these different uh, great ways to, to make videos and stuff. That doesn't make it easy to tell a compelling story, to build a, a niche market for yourself. That's something that, that's incredibly difficult to do. Um, that's, I think, what I want to say. Thank you.